Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hey guys, today we are going to be designing, we're going to be sublimating on this 20 ounce skinny tumbler. This is a sublimation blank. I ordered it, I mean, I actually bought this from Michael's. So I wanted to test Michael's sublimation blanks just to see if they're good quality. So we're gonna be sublimating one here today. Um, one of the things that you wanna make sure you're doing when you're sublimating on your tumblers is you wanna make sure that you clean them. So we're gonna take some alcohol here and just put that on a cotton swab or cotton ball. And you just kind of want to go over your tumbler with that alcohol to try to remove any fingerprints or any other, you know, any other little debris or whatever that may have gotten on them and then allow that to dry. But you always want to wipe down your tumblers before you sublimate on them. So now that we got that taken care of, it's just that simple. We're going to sit it down and allow it to air dry. You don't need to take and try to wipe it dry unless you're in a really big hurry, which we should never do when we're crafting. We shouldn't be in a hurry. Um, so for this project, we're going to be using our shrink wrap. So I have some shrink wrap here. Um, we're going to be using my heat gun to um, heat up the shrink wrap. And then we have some heat tape to help get our um, design uh, onto our or to help adhere our design to our tumbler. And then the image that I'm going to be using is from Etsy. It's an image that I purchased in Etsy. And we're going to be using my convection oven. We're going to be uh, sublimating in the convection oven about 350, 365, somewhere in there for about six minutes. And at the three minute mark, we're going to turn the um, cup around so that we can get full coverage or full heat on that tumbler in the convection oven. I'm using um, a large or a wide convection oven, as you'll see here in a moment, um, which allows me to be able to do more than one tumbler and also to stand the tumbler uh, completely up. Um, I purchased this convection oven, I think early last year or the year before, the years are going by so fast for me now, <laughs> um, but, I think I got it at Walmart for like 80 bucks, something like that. Um, but it works really, really well. Um, one of the things I have decided not to invest in was a um, tumbler press, so to speak. Um, I'm not interested in that. My convection oven works perfectly and I had already bought it. Um, so therefore, I'm just gonna stick with my convection oven, okay? And of course, you're going to need some type of sublim sublimation paper for your image. So I'm going to be using a sub sublimation paper. Um, so without further ado, um, you're also going to need some heat gloves because your tumbler is going to be super, super hot when you take it out of the convection oven. So I'll grab my um, heat gloves. Some people, after they put the image on, they wrap the image also in butcher paper. So that's another option. And then they put the tef um, they put this um, shrink wrap on. I'm just going to be putting my image and then putting the shrink wrap. So I'm not going to be doing both. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, let's get started. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to be using Microsoft PowerPoint because this image is going to be larger than the 6.75 by 9.25 that you can do in Cricut Design Space. So um, I have a blank slide here. I'm just going to go to the menu and select insert picture, this device. And I'm going to be using, I think it's this image right here. I have to sit on it. No, that is 
not that much taller. Hold on one second. This is the image that I want. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do when the image comes in, I'm going to go ahead and um, rotate this image um, by flipping it horizontal. Okay, so I'm going to flip it horizontal, which is going to put it in the reverse because you always want to have it going in the reverse when you're doing sublimation. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to click on the image and come down to size and position. And I'm going to make my size um, at 8.4 by 9.55. So I'm just clicking the height, the up arrow, 8.4 by 9.55. That's going to be the size. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to rotate this at a 90 degree angle. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I get it all on my sheet of paper with no problem, okay? So at this point, I am ready to print this image out. That's pretty much it in Microsoft PowerPoint. So we're gonna click on File, we're gonna say Print, and we're gonna select under Settings, Print Current Slide. We just want this one slide. And I'm gonna go to my um, printers and I'm gonna select, I'm using the Epson Workforce 7720. And so I'm going to click printer properties and I want this to come out of paper cassette one and I want my quality to be high. So I'm going to go up to all the way up on quality and up under more options, I'm going to remove high speed. Okay. And so we're just using paper cassette one. This is letter size paper. Everything else looks good. We're gonna hit okay and print. So I have my paper inside my Epson 7720, Workforce 7720 for it to print out. And that's pretty much all we needed to do. Now I purchased this image from Etsy and I will put in the description the supplier that I purchased this from on Etsy. Um, and I think this is going to be really cute on this tumbler. So I'm really excited about this. So at this point, we are done here. There's nothing else to do in the on the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and end here and then we'll come I'll come back up on the screen. All right, now here's our image that we have printed out on a sub eight and a half by 11 paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to go in and trim down this excess that we will not need. Um, so we're not putting this in our, um, we're not going to be putting this into um, Cricut Design Space to cut for us. I'm just going to trim it myself here. And normally I would use my other little handheld little cutter, but I'm going to, I think I'll be quicker doing it this way. Hopefully I didn't cut that too short. Um, so we're going to get this just right. So we're just trimming off that excess white that we don't need. And two more little areas right here. Just trying to make sure that I'm only cutting the image white, not the image, but the white. All right, and one more little snippet here. So we're going to be, like I said, I have my convection oven heating up right now. And so I have a thermostat, which I would highly recommend that you get a thermostat so that you can be sure that your uh, temperature, your heat inside your convection oven is appropriate. 
because um, it's hard to tell if it's really at that desired setting. So here we have our image now cut out. And I'm going to try to get this little bit of white right here. And um, we're going to be taping this face down onto our tumbler here in just a second. All right, that looks good. Just like that. So now we're going to take our tumbler and we're going to wrap this around our tumbler. So you can see that for the height, it is perfect. You don't have any overlap here on the top or the bottom. And it's going to close perfectly for us. So the only hard part is not being able to see through this paper to make sure that we have that little line connecting, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. Now it's normally better guys, if you're doing this with the tumbler, you know, laying down, but I don't have that luxury because of a little workspace here, but I'm gonna put it on my lap and see how that does. <laughs> All right, so just to kind of give you a little visual here, I'm just going to use my heat tape to close this baby up. You do not want any space um, in there, okay? No, 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 no space. All right, so I'm going to have to get this little part right here off because that little part right there has been beat up look like it all right so we are going to get our heat tape going here and i think this tumbler is going to be gorgeous all right I can see it a little bit. So you just want to take your time. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm going to get my heat tape started, and that may help me out. <sighs> Guys, it's been so long since I did a tumbler in my convection oven. All right, so I'm going to try to get this where it is lined up. I can kind of see it a little bit, but So if you have this laying on a flat, hard surface, it'll be a little bit easier to do, but I'm going to get it. Trust me, I'm going to get it. Just going to have to, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. All right. Now, if this tape will cooperate... I will be cooking with gas, but as you can see, it doesn't want to play fair. All right, so I'm putting this tape on, guys, and you want to make sure that you don't have any air pockets. It is so crucial that you don't have any little air pockets in between there. So you want to make sure that when you're wrapping this, you have it as tight as possible and that you're making sure that there's no air in between this paper and your tumbler, okay? No air. 
because if it is, you're gonna end up with a little blowout and you don't want that. Let me see if I can find a little start here. One day I am going to order a tape holder, one day. <laughs> I have ordered some everything, but I have not gotten around to ordering a tape holder. So this is the part that gets me every time, which is trying to cut this tape. All right, so again, no air pockets. You want to take care of that as best as possible. Okay, so we're going to get this all the way down. And then we're going to put some tape. I put tape on the bottom and the top. Now that's just me because I don't want any air to get in here. Okay. And... Get this going. Okay. I'm going to have to rewrap that little bottom part because I can feel air in there. And you will be able to feel it too because it's going to feel like a little bubble. And you don't want that. So you want to make sure that you get that air out. Ready? Come on, Tate, stop playing with me. All right, there we go. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut that little piece right here. And I'm going to put it down here on the bottom. All right. So I'm just going to take my nail because I want to make sure that there is no way that air is going to get in there. Okay. And I'm now going to tape around the bottom. And then I'm going to tape around the top. So I just get it right there on that bottom. I'm going to come around. I'm pulling my tape tightly, uh, tightly. I said tightly. I'm pulling that tight. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Now, even though I you have a timer on the convection oven, I do not use that time. I set a time on my cell phone because I want to make sure that it is exactly six minutes and not longer or shorter. Okay, six minutes. All right, so you want to make sure that is good and tight on there. You do not want to feel any air when you come upward. You don't want to feel any air pockets. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top here. And again, I am pulling tight. Pulling this tape tight around there. Just like that. The hardest part is just getting that seam side down so that there is no air getting in there that's the biggest thing and like i said make sure you have some heat gloves because this baby is going to be super hot when it comes out and you do not want to burn yourself don't be saying you were watching a video and doris didn't tell you because i want you to know it is going to be super hot when it comes out of that convection oven Making sure that is down really good. 
All right, so once you get it like this, you're then going to take your shrink wrap and you're going to put your cup inside of that shrink wrap, just like that. And you wanna have a little bit of room at the bottom and the top so that the shrink wrap can um, close it up for you, all right? So we're gonna take my heat gun and we are going to plug this baby up. <laughs> and you wanna get close, but you don't wanna to get too close where you burn your shrink wrap because that defeats the purpose of the shrink wrap. So we're going to kind of, you just want to make sure that it is tightly on your, uh, your tumbler, that that shrink wrap is tightly on that tumbler. You want to get all that air out. Out of there, you want it tightly. You want to close it on that bottom, you close it on that top. All right, just like that. You want to make sure that it's nice and tight around your tumbler. You don't want any air pockets. Okay. So you see how we sealed up that bottom and we sealed up the top. Now we're going to take this baby and we're going to put it in the convection oven at 350. Um, for six minutes, we're going to turn it. Once it hits three minutes, we're going to rotate it 360 or whatever. Halfway around, we want to um, rotate it. Okay. And yeah, and then we're going to let it cool off and then we'll do the unveiling together. Okay, so let's go to the convection oven. All right, guys, here is the convection oven. Um, my heat uh, or my thermometer is actually a little bit over the 350 mark, which is good because when you open this door, you're going to lose some of that heat. Okay, so I'm going to sit a piece of butcher paper um, down in here just so that it is not, so that um, it is not directly on that metal, since I'm not using the butcher paper um, on the inside there. So I'm gonna take this out. Put this butcher paper. This is just what I'm going to have it sitting on. Just like that. And then I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to rotate it at um, three minutes. And then we'll go from there. So I'm going to pause you. I'm going to come back when it's done. And we'll do, we'll let it cool and then we'll do the unveiling together. All right, guys, it's been three minutes. So I'm going to rotate this. Just like that. And then I'll come back after the next three minutes, which will be a full six minutes. All right, guys, we have our full six minutes. I'm going to take this out now. I'm going to let it cool down and then we will undo the unveil together let me get the rack here one of the good things is when you take it out you should be able to see the image bleeding through which you can see that here uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. so that looks really good all right, so we're going to let it cool down, and then we will unveil together. Let me put this over here. 
all right be back all right guys it has been about 10 minutes so we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, unveil together to see what we got here so we're gonna go ahead and get all this off And sometimes you may want to take a sharp object to kind of help you. Be careful with sharp objects because you don't want to scratch your tumbler. And you can't recover from that. So, you know, once you get that tape off and everything, you're pretty, pretty much good to go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And you barely can see a seam. You see that? Perfect door at its best. And then there's our bottom. Okay. So let's take a look all the way around. All right. All right, guys. So for this particular project, it took, uh, of course, your sublimation blank, which is your tumbler, and also a sub or whatever sublimation paper that you want to use. Um, I had this at 8.4 by 9.55 in Microsoft PowerPoint, and then I just cut off the or trimmed off the excess um, white. And as you can tell, guys, you barely can see a seam on there at all okay so we lined up that up really really good really really good um and then i'm using my epson workforce 7720 um printer that has been changed over from inkjet to sublimation and um make sure you have some nice heat gloves because this thing is going to be hot when you take it out this um is the Hamilton Beach and this is the wide convection oven again I got this at Walmart for like $75 $80 a year or two ago um, but you saw that I could have put more than one tumbler in there because they do the 20 ounce will stand up in there nice and perfectly um, shrink wrap I did not put any a bunch of tape all around here guys you saw that was not necessary and it is perfect door okay you just want to make sure that you close off that seam really really good because if that seam is not closed off you're going to end up with some ghosting or shadows and you don't want that okay um and what else uh we put the convection on 350 for six minutes and we rotated it at the three minute mark so that we could get full coverage on our um, on our tumbler okay and that's pretty much it guys oh and the heat gun the heat gun to shrink the shrink wrap um but other than that that's it let me get the top so here is our top and we're good to go the only thing is this did not come in a box like if you order them online they normally come in a box and wrapped up so you know it's mine so i'm good with that but that's one thing to take into consideration is you know how will you package this to send to your customer if it comes just like this without being in some type of box or what have you um but yeah that's it guys that's my store i'm sticking to it in the description i will have the link to the image and uh some of the supplies that i use so always check my descriptions because i do link um things that I used in my tutorials in there. So if you ask me, where did you get the image from? Or where did you get this from or that from? Check the description. Check the description because normally it's gonna be in the description linked so you can go directly to it. All right, guys, that's it. That's all, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And you know, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day.
bye.